Hello again. I made this video to answer a question I have received recently, and that is, how was I able to display my receiver signal strength on my on-screen display when I was using a Spectrum receiver? Recently I made a video on how far away can I fly using a Spectrum radio and receiver. This got a few people to ask, how was I able to display my receiver signal strength? Spectrum radios use a digital signal, so it should be either you get a signal or you don't. How is it that in my video, my signal strength fluctuates between 0 and 98%, much like you would expect from an analog signal? In my case, I used a device I found on eBay called the DORA. I'll place a link in the description below. DORA stands for DSM2, DSMX, on RSSI input adapter. The DORA works with Spectrum and some JR receivers. The DORA is designed to communicate with your Spectrum DSMX receiver and translate their performance stats into a voltage signal. This signal can then be fed into a receiver signal strength indicator input of your FPV on-screen display to indicate the quality of your DSM2 DSMX connection. The way DORA works is along these lines. A spectrum receiver communicates reception problems in three ways, antenna fades, frame losses, and holds. The DORA uses this information to calculate a fairly accurate receiver signal strength. Fades, frame losses, and holds carry different weights in the calculation. For example, with a spectrum receiver, an antenna fade are single unsuccessful receptions. They represent a loss of a bit of information. And on a normal 15 minute flight, you can expect to have 50 to 100 antenna fades. The DORA considers an antenna fade to have a low weight in its calculation, and their overall impact is limited to one-fifth of the full signal strength of the RSSI. Frame losses represent simultaneous antenna fades on all attached receivers. On an average flight, you may expect to get 20 or so frame losses. Frame loss have a medium weight their overall impact accounts for three-fifths of the full signal strength of the RSSI output. A hold occurs when there have been 45 consecutive frame losses. This usually takes about one second to occur. The receiver will then go to the program failsafe position. Holds bring the RSSI signal strength to zero instantly. Overall, I've found that the door gives you a realistic interpretation of your receiver signal strength. Here we can have a closer look at the door. It's very easy to connect to your system. First, you would connect this wire to your Spectrum receiver data bind port, and then attach this wire to your on-screen display receiver signal strength indicator input port. There is also the option to attach a ground wire here if your system requires one, but in most cases your on-screen display shares ground, so it's not usually required. DORA has an LED that lights up when the receiver is powered up, and when the receiver receives a signal from the transmitter, the LED will blink. The DORA also features a trimming potentiometer that allows you to easily set up and fine-tune the RSSI level. So there we go, a quick look at the DORA. I would definitely recommend one of these to someone that is looking to display their Spectrum or JR receiver signal strength on their on-screen display.